I would say the qualities for a good engineer are imagination, mass imagination, not just on the design aspect, but also on materials, equipment, and not just trying to think down one small avenue, thinking about the wider picture. I see every day more women in, more women coming through that have the right attitude and have the right confidence to be able to not necessarily stand up to their male, male counterparts or colleagues or peers, but also have the right opinions that perhaps would shock other people. But the elder generation, in my experience, doesn't mean that it's all round, tends to want to flatten these opinions, which, which can perhaps cause some, a certain amount of problems when you're a female, young female engineer going and working with an elder generation. They don't always tend to take notice of you because the stereotypical fact is women don't know anything about engineering, which is simply not true. There needs to be less emphasis on, um, on traditional methods for more female engineers to be wanting to be involved. There needs to be an emphasis on everything that is about engineering, even the small stuff, so it needs to seem like a much wider diversity and we need to lose these stereotypes of men in engineering. Um, and providing more confidence, so seeing other female engineers actively doing something is a great way, I think, of trying to encourage other people that might be thinking of going into, going into engineering, not just women, but other people in general, but perhaps don't have, haven't necessarily had the confidence. So losing those stereotypes would be massive benefit, I feel. If you're an engineer and you want to be an engineer, you don't, you don't need these flashy things that we have here. They're a great benefit, I freely admit it, but anyone who's got a mindset can make their own 3D printer. You can make your own 3D printer for 50 pounds. You do not need to have something flashy, you just need the know-how and you need to be passionate about what you, what you want to create and how to solve it. You can go and make these items and then you'd have your own set of a bit of equipment that you've made, you know how to work, you know how to design. That's making you an engineer, full stop. You've designed it, you've built it. If you have the, if you have the know-how or have the passion to go and research how to do it, then there's no reason why you aren't already an engineer. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.